In our first reading today, David is called to be the future king of Israel and anointed by Samuel. And I think perhaps this reading presents us with an opportunity to reflect on our own calling, on our own vocation, our being chosen by God for a special task. You know, we are all called by God. In fact, we're called at many levels and progressively throughout our lives. We're called into life, into human dignity and responsibility. We're called into certain relationships and communities and tasks. But most importantly of all, we are called into an intimate communion with God. Something that does not come naturally, that has, but has to be sought and cultivated within the grace of God. And as baptized Christians, we are called to holiness. We are called to discipleship. That is the general call, or the common vocation, if you will, of all of us. However, each person's path to achieve that goal or vocation is quite particular. So whether we are single, or married, or religious, or ordained, or young, or old, we all live our common vocation in special ways. But each special vocation shares certain elements. It's the Father's choice, it comes from Him, and it is His gift. And we may well wonder, why God has chosen us rather than someone else whom we might regard as more qualified to do the work that he has given us to do. And within that vocation or way of life in which we all already find ourselves, we can still ask to what in our present circumstances God is further calling us, or whether he might even <coughs> be calling us to serve him in a different direction altogether. Whatever, we need to listen to that call. We need to ask for his strength and for the courage to say yes. Our gospel reading today is one of a series of controversies <coughs> between Jesus and the religious leaders. The reading we had yesterday dealt with fasting. Today concerns the Sabbath. And as we read this, we have to keep in mind that this was written for a community that had already switched its weekly observance from the Sabbath to Sunday. But we remain in contact with the Spirit through the sacraments and through our religious practices. However, it's possible for a mechanical application of the rules to detract from our spiritual life. You know, the Lord tells us that when religious observances become ends in themselves, rather than vehicles for communication with God, they can become roadblocks. It's possible to obey rules because we love rules, rather than God. The Sabbath was originally intended to celebrate the covenant and liberation. The religious establishment had turned it into a burden and a penance. <laughs> and we too become, can become slaves of practices if they fail to free us for communication with our Heavenly Father. 